60 seconds. What's your screw? All right, it's Monday. Yeah, baby. Yeah, <laughs> the start of the week. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. wedding. <laughs> it's the start of wedding season, so we're gonna go do some running around and just uh, maybe get some new dress attire. Who knows? Just we're just gonna do some shopping. Is that all right? Is that all right with you guys? Is that all right with you, Kenny? Here we go. All right, we are here at Oakland Mall. We're gonna start our adventure at Macy's. Okay, I don't know about you, but I don't like the process of shopping and trying anything on. We don't really have this problem because we just buy our own stuff. Yeah. Don't mind it. Yeah. Don't do it that often. Yeah. Uh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Maybe we'll even go to the food court afterwards. <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I've been to a mall. Like, May seriously, 17th, seriously shop. This is, this is it's refreshing. I can tell you last time. May 17, 2014? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> buy a woman's suit, like uh, Michael Scott does in the office by mistake. Mysterious. It's a power suit. It's a power suit. Are you wearing lady clothes? Those look like lady pants. No. This is a power suit. Mm. Mysterious. It is mysterious because the buttons are on the wrong side. Kenny! Where? Over here. Underwear. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> Whoa, it's like the bat king. All right, in the fitting room at Macy's, grabbed a gray suit. They didn't have any other colors I really liked, but uh, this is a Kenneth Cole, and my favorite suit is a Kenneth Cole, so we'll see. All right, they are holding a suit for me. We gotta jump over to some other stores, look around for Kenny. If not, I wasn't made for fancy clothes. <laughs> we do know a size, we can just order them one offline. They just didn't have a size in stock. I feel naked without my sunglasses. I gave them to Amy Friday night, and they're in their purse. And we might have to stop back in where I to get those from uh from her because I Hi, Carumba. Holy crap, what? we just got back. You want a fashion show? <laughs> fashion show. Movie. That was actually kind of a painstaking process, but we got what we needed. Yeah, you remember when you asked me if I like shopping? Yeah. I don't mind it. I did like me for the first ten minutes and remember I said that I didn't like shopping, that's why. Yeah. That got annoying. And that's why we made a clothing company. <laughs> I'm starving. Hey, buddy. Good to be home, Kenny. That was way too long. This is why we don't shop. What's that app, Jack? Ow! What's that app, Jack Threads? Yeah. You hate shopping, Jack Threads. All right, we got the we got dinner. We're just reheating some cold dinner that was in the fridge. I'm starving. I've hardly eaten anything today. That's gonna be amazing. Dinner is served. We have pork chops, cooked carrots, Brussels sprouts, green beans with a side of red wine. And dinner and a movie, some Netflix. All right, so I just realized I never gave my comprehensive review of Solo, a Star Wars story. All in all, I really liked it. I think the cast was awesome. I liked that they had Woody Harrelson as Beckett. Heard about a job. And Amelia Clark, she killed it. You look good. Big Amelia Clark fan, and you don't normally see her outside of Game of Thrones. Um, I think the last movie I saw her in was Terminator Salvation or whatever one it was. Come with me if you want to live. Chalice Gambino was awesome. Everything you've heard about me is true. And the guy that played Han was a good actor. Well, what do you know? All in all, it was really good. But the best part wasn't the movie as a whole; it's just the little references that they tied a lot of loose ends together throughout the Star Wars universe. Little quirks that maybe if you didn't grow up on Star Wars, you wouldn't have noticed. Um, I, I loved it. I'll try and do no spoilers, even though it's been out for a while, people should be ready for spoilers. So keeping a minimalist review, um, my score, I don't have a good number score for it. It was all right, it was a good movie. Um, wasn't great, but I would buy it, own the DVD, and uh, add it to the collection, and definitely watch it again. So yeah, good movie. Waiting for what's next, episode nine, episode nine. Disney, your move. Hey, I was wondering if you had a minute to talk about Solo, a Star Wars story. <laughs> I saw you paint him. 
Soggy Potato. Yeah, I'm gonna finish uh, just in care of my health. Good movie. Soggy Potato score, what's that, 100 or 10? Um, a thousand. I liked it. Uh, there were a couple of parts, a couple inter uh, characters getting introduced, some things happening. I thought they didn't make a big of a, make as big of a deal about it. It was a cool movie though. I liked it better than a handful of star other Star Wars. I'd give it like a uh, 770. Thanks, Kenny. You're all blurry for this. I don't know why. Thanks. What'd you give it? 